Play Pals, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're new to our channel, click that red subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos. Before we get into the video, first I want to give a super shout out to some of my awesome subscribers. Thank you guys so much for clicking and sticking with me. And so today we're doing something a little different than the typical battle of the BBs. What we're doing, we have this competition, guys. We're having elimination rounds because ultimately we are going to see which dolls advance to the BB Bowl. So I'm really excited to see who's gonna go to that BB Bowl. And so today we've got eight dolls competing and I'm gonna show you their fashions. At the end of the video, I will explain how you vote for your favorite BBs. And so the top two BBs are going to advance to the BB Bowl, okay? So I'm really excited about that. So without any further delays, guys, let's get to this battle. So first up guys, we've got Metal Chick and let me tell you, she is so cute. I love her like hot pink and black hair and so I wanted to give her a look that complemented that well and so this is what she's got on here. She has on a little pink top. So what I did was I put her top on backwards guys and it gave it like a backless look and I thought that was cute. Um, looks nice. She has on Pop BB's little skirt and this is a little ruffle like skirt that I got from one of my other dolls. I just kind of fit it for her. And look at those nails, cute. And she has on Dolly's shoes, um, which I think rounds off her look. It kind of softens it up a bit since her makeup is so like goth-like. But, and oh, she has on Chillax's earrings. And so I thought this was a nice little color scheme for her. You guys let me know what you think. So this is Uptown Girl and she is so cute. I gave her a different look, um, kind of made it look a little edgier for her because you know, she's so soft and kind of dainty with her original outfit. But the hat that she has on is Neonlicious's and the earrings are Groovy Babes. Um, she has on a little top that I got from a lot of doll clothes and she has on a little necklace. I love how leathery that looks. It's so cute, the little patent like look. And she's got on this Barbie necklace um, that I put over the top. And this is a Switcher Witch skirt. And let me tell you, that skirt is so tight. And she's got on some Monster High shoes right there. And these little lacy kind of shoes are cute. And I think this is a nice little look for her. Um, I just love it. So you guys let me know what you think about this look for Uptown Girl. So next up is Neonlicious. And let me tell you, I actually cut the little side pieces off this particular Neonlicious and I washed her hair and kind of blew it out a bit and I thought it looked really, really cute. So this is a Minnie Mouse little jacket and a Minnie Mouse skirt. And I gave her this little necklace to kind of tie those colors in together. And so the jacket, I just put it on backwards to give it that look that I wanted so it looked like more like a top instead of a jacket. And she's got these Monster High shoes right here, which are so cute. Look at them with the little scissors on the side. I forgot the, the doll. Um, now you guys know that I never really collected Monster High dolls. It really came, um, I, had, I wasn't collecting dolls at the time when they were out. And I want them so bad. I only have like a Frankie, a couple of Frankie um, dolls and that's basically it, I think. No, I actually have four, I think, four dolls. And so this is the look for Neonlicious and you guys let me know what you think about it. So this is Kitty K guys. And let me tell you, Kitty K, she, her hair, you can, you hopefully you can tell, but in person it does have this pretty little lavender color. And so I gave her this bow um, that I got. I think I got it from Walmart in a pack of bows, I think. Either that or the dollar store, totally random, but I can't remember. Any like Dollar Tree or something, but I just can't remember for sure. Anyway, so I loved that the lavender colors on her, and so she has on Candy Licious' little choker collar thing. She has on Uptown Girl's top. Um, underneath, you really can't see it, but you can see the peak just a little bit right there. She has on Swag's little like um, bodysuit or whatever underneath. She has on Lone Star's pants because I love that lavender and her boots as well. And so I thought that was cute. She's got on Neonlicious's earrings. I wanted some earrings that kind of hung low on her. Really, really super cute. This doll is amazing. So if you guys want to collect, and she has so much hair. Look at how long her hair is. Um, it's like long and flowy. I haven't washed it yet, but 
I will at some point. But anyway, guys, this is a look for Kitty K. You guys let me know what you think about it. So next up, guys, we've got Bad Girl, and she has on so many different things, guys. Um, well, one of the things that I like most is this little black top that she has on is actually, if you look really closely, it probably looks familiar. It actually is Swag's top. I just dyed it black. Um, she has on 24K DJ's pants, and I think this kind of black and gold actually goes really well with her bad girl um, little like rings and her little like gloves that she has on. Super cute. Um, she has on Jukebox BB's earrings. So that's nice and I love her little like side pony or whatever it's cute 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 I haven't done anything with her hair either and these boots guys I've used them before they are simply amazing um, they actually fit my um, rainbow high dolls as well they're a little big um, like a little longer for the OMGs but I think they still fit you can style your dolls with them I actually got it from a hair amazing prom perfect doll so if you want to get these boots these would be cool to like paint, repaint as well if you wanted to have a different look rather than the like wine greeny color. And so this is the look that I have for Metal Babe. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Okay guys, so this is Groovy Babe and let me tell you what she's got on. She has on Lone Star's hat. She's got on Neon Licious's earrings. Um, this little like shrug that I put on her is actually a skirt. It's a Han Couture skirt and I just kind of put it over her shoulders. I love that. She's got Lady Diva's belt on and this little bodysuit that she has on is actually big wigs and I think it's cute on her. And these are actually bad girls, little like furry boots or whatever. She's got on, you can't really see it, but she, she has on Kitty K's pumps and, and I just put the uh, fur on the top of it. Just really wanted to highlight her black and white and silver color scheme, which I think she looks great in. I mean, you can always do some other stuff with her, but I like this. So you guys let me know what you think about the look that I created for Groovy Babe. So this right here is my da boss. I did color her hair. I made it more of like a reddish color instead of the like golden color that it was. So she does look a little different. Um, so I wanted to point that out. You might be like, what doll is that? So anyway, that's the boss. Um, she has on some earrings that I got in a lot of uh, doll items. I think they could be Barbie earrings. I'm not sure. But anyway, I love these earrings. So the little jacket she has on, it belongs to Missy Meow. I love this little puffer like jacket. It's real cute. Um, her little top that she has on underneath the top is actually punk girls top. So that is cute as well. Um, she has on Uptown Girls little boy shorts. I love uh, using these boy sh shorts. And these are some monster high little strappy number. So that is a, a little sassy look for her. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this look for the boss. Now last but not least guys, this is Icy Girl. And you guys know that I really love Icy Girl a lot. I, I think she's so pretty. I love her face. I love her big hair. It's just so, so cute. I love just like puffing it up and making it super huge. Her little bangs, it looks, it works for her. Um, some of the dolls with the bangs, I really don't care for, but I really do like her a lot. She has on Missy Meow's cat ears with the little ear muffs. Um, and I love that black and how it contrasts with her hair and like her eye color and everything. So she has on a little necklace from one of my OMG dolls and for the life of me, I can't remember which one. Um, but she has on a Han Couture top that I purchased. And this is actually a non 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 surprise skirt. I get lots of comments on this. Um, it's a non 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 surprise skirt. And I like make it fit for all of my dolls. <laughs> I use them obviously on Nana Not Surprise. I use them on my Rainbow High dolls. I use them on um, my OMGs. But, and you can give it different looks. You can make it look like a top. You can make it look like a skirt, a straight skirt. I kind of made it look like a skirt that's kind of like an angled skirt. And when I put it, um, did it in the back, I just kind of Velcroed it a, a bit at an angle. So it would kind of hang low and it would fit her really well. And I thought that was cool because the meow kind of is at an angle. Um, these are some Monster High boots. The yellow kind of um, goes well with the gold. But you guys let me know what you think about this look for Icy Girl. Now that we have seen all eight looks you may not remember and I know you're going to be voting. So what I wanted to do is give you guys a quick little recap so you can see each look. If you wanna see some crazy and all so lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, we sure as hell funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow. We 
that's all eight dolls so i gave you guys that second look so hopefully that helped you guys decide who you think should be able to advance so in the comments below please vote for the two dolls that you want to advance don't give me three or four dolls you have to actually pick two so please pick two dolls that you think should be advancing to the bb bowl but guys that's all we had today on instant right play where we did the first round of dolls that are competing you guys stay tuned because next time we will have eight more dolls um with fashions that you guys can be the judges and let me know who you think from that group should also advance to the bb bowl but guys that's all we had today on instant right play but before we go i just wanted to say even if you have a hard day we hope you find some time to play and we'll see you next time on instant right play that's what it's all about